Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Amazonist Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for posts, Crystal Revenge. In the latest Battle of Legends, we got some more of the Amazonist support in the form of two new traps for the deck that helped us set up just the overall play style of the Amazonist deck, giving you pendulum setup by being able to just place the pendulum monsters in your pendulum zone, and then also just have more search and setup with some of your other cards and consistency with cards like Amazonist Princess, just being able to easily search out these traps, which are continuous traps that can remain on the field as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck. Uh, not much has changed for the monster ratio since the last update uh, post Darkwing Blast, but we're still running the three Amazonist Princess. This card just gives you a search when this card is normal or special summon, being able to add an Amazonist spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So with this card, you can add either one of the new Amazonist uh, traps, which is Amazonist Hot Spring and Amazonist Hull to your hand for you to use, giving you that option. And also with this card, when it declares an attack, you can send one other card from your hand or field of the graveyard to special summon one Amazonist monster from your deck in defense position. This can set up cards like your new Amazonist War Chief or even your Amazonist Queen to protect your Amazonist from being destroyed by battle on the field thanks to this card. So definite three of just for its overall search and special summon consistency. I also still run three of the new Amazonist War Chief. If you control no monsters or only Amazonist monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If it's normal or special summon, you can set one Amazonist Spell or Trap or one Polymerization directly from your deck. Also, you can only attack with Amazonist monsters for the rest of this turn. So just once again, along with Princess, an easy way to set up the traps that we run in the deck. And with this card, it's the last of the three elves. I run two Amazonist Spy. With this card, you can reveal one other Amazonist in your hand to special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn and when this card destroys is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can target one amazonist monster in your graveyard except for spy and return it to the hand or shuffle into the deck giving you more search back consistency for cards like amazonist princess which you can then just normal summon again the following turn i also run two amazonist spiritualists if this card is in your hand or graveyard you can target one amazonist card you control except for a spiritualist return it to the hand and if you do special summon this card also you, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except for amazonist monsters if this card special summon you can add one polymerization from your deck to your hand along with your amazonist war chief just another way to search out polymerization for you to use since fusion monsters are a big part of what we want to get out with this deck onto the field for the one ofs for the amazonist monsters i run one Amazonist Queen for the protection since your Amazonist monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. One Amazonist Pet Tiger is another easy special summon from your hand or graveyard you, every time you summon an Amazonist monster. And one Amazonist Scouts. During either player's turn, you contribute this card. If you do, during this turn, face up Amazonist monsters you control cannot be targeted by effect monsters effects and cannot be destroyed by card effects of spell, trap, or effect monsters. So it's during the player's turn. So you can even just summon it out with cards like your Amazonist Onslaught during the battle phase. Tribute it out and then being able to protect your other Amazonas monsters that haven't attacked yet. For the Pendulum monsters, I run two of the Golden Whipmaster and two of the Silver Swordmaster. Both of these cards can be set up with your Amazonas Hall and Amazonas Hot Springs. With this card in Pendulum Scale with Golden Whipmaster, Amazonas monsters you control gain attack equal to their own level times 100. And when an attack is declared involving your Amazonas monster, you can target one spell trap on the field and destroy it. So you have Destruction Power with Golden Whipmaster and with your Silver Swordmaster, Amazonas monsters you control gain attack equal to their own level times 100. And when an attack is declared involving your Amazonist monster, you can target one Amazonist spell trap in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So you have Recycle Power with Silver Sword Master and Destruction Power with Golden Whip Master. Just two ups for each, so you can set it up. You're not really going to use them for Pendulum Summoning as much, but they're good for their overall setup for destruction and recycling cards back to your hand. And that is it for the main deck monsters. When I move on to the spells, I run three copies of Amazonist Secret Arts. It's a quick play spell that lets you fusion summon one Amazonist fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. And during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. If you fusion summon an Amazonist fusion monster this turn, you can also send one Amazonist from your extra deck to the graveyard as material. So this helps for setting up some of your bigger boss monsters like Amazonist Augusta, being able to send that other Amazonist monster to the graveyard to count as the fusion material with this card card. 
I also run three copies of Amazonist Call. You take one Amazonist card from your deck, except for Amazonist Call, and either add to your hand or send it to the graveyard. So giving you more of a setup with some of your traps in the graveyard. And during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one Amazonist monster you control. That monster can attack all of your opponent's monsters uh, once each, and also other monsters you control cannot attack. But if you have your big Amazonist boss monster on the field, that's going to be the monster you're going to want to attack with anyway, since your biggest one, Amazonist Augusta, can hit for 3200 attack on her own for the other spells i run the one amazonist village just the one because it can be searched thanks to some of the other cards we run in the deck and for our other fusion options along with our amazonist secret arts i am also running two polymerization and one fusion substitute so you have both options available to you since fusion substitute counts as polymerization and we have cards like spiritualist and also war chief that can set up polymerization if you have amazonist monsters on the field fusion substitute can at least give you a draw option with the ones you have on the field and then for the other spells i run the one reinforcements of the army for warrior search one monster reborn and one foolish burial for other graveyard options with your amazonist monsters i'm still running the assault package because i really do like the equipped spell setup the one moon mirror shield the one divine sword phoenix blade and the one living fossil and additionally the one refusion because if you do draw this card it can make a good way to recycle your fusion monsters that are in your graveyard back onto the field by just paying 800 life points and that is it for the spells moving on to the traps i run one copy of the new amazonist hot springs when this card is activated you can take one amazonist monster from your deck and either add to your hand or if it is a pendulum monster place it in your pendulum zone when you take battle damage while you control an amazonist monster you can gain life points equal to the damage you took you can only use this effect once per turn but along with cards like your secret village or Amazonist Village, my mistake there, you can have Monster Special Summon Power, and then also just the additional play for your Hot Spring being able to have you gain life after your monster was destroyed by battle. And then also being able to set up your Pendulum Scales is the speed I mentioned before, setting them up to use, or even just giving you a monster which you can Special Summon out with your other trap, which is your Amazonist Onslaught. I also run the one Amazonist Hull. I'm running one ofs for each of these because we have Searchers. I'll Otherwise, it would be kind of a dead draw. You just need the one-ofs for each to set up on the field. Amazonist Hall, when it's activated, you can take one Amazonist monster from your graveyard or face up in your extra deck and either add to your hand or if it's a pendulum monster, place it in your pendulum zone. If a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field while you control an Amazonist monster, except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters and gain life points equal to its attack. So you have more of a battle option with Hot Springs and then more of a pre-setup option thanks to Hall. But both can either set up monsters back into your hands with your Amazonist Hall being more of a field and extra deck setup and then hot springs being from the deck for your field to be set up i also run the one amazonist willpower for more special summoning from the graveyard the amazonist monster does have to attack but still more of a bonus if available that way and I also run the three Amazonists Onslaught for the additional option of being able to special summon out your Amazonist monsters and also being able to banish your opponent's own monsters and also being able to, if it's on the field and destroyed and sent to the graveyard, targeting an Amazonist monster in your graveyard and special summoning it. That is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. I run the two copies of Amazonist Augusta. With this card, you have your boss monster to go into. We needing the one fusion monster can be made up with cards like your spell, being able to send the fusion monster by banishing it from the graveyard, as long as you have the polymerization search set up on the field as well. The two Amazonist Empress. Another boss monster you can go into just needing an Amazonist Queen, which your Amazonist Princess can also count as, so remember that. But most of the time, excuse me, you can use it as just that resource to go into the more powerful Amazonist Augusta as that added backup option. For the Amazonist Tiger option, I also run the two Amazonist Pet Liger King, needing one level five or higher Amazonist monster, which can easily be done with your new Amazonist War Chief or your Amazonist Queen to use for the fusion material, but you can even use your spell card to use the Amazonist Secret Arts to send your Pet Liger, which can count as the fusion option. I run two of each, so you have the play to go into, at least having the original fusion and still having the resource to send for the fusion play for your bigger Amazonist card. 
And then for the Link Monsters, I run the one Amazonus. Uh, Amazonus. It is a sold to Tales of the Noble Knights to work with the equip spells. Most of the time I use it to search out Amazonus Princess, since you will get the search still off of the special summon. And it's only a level three, so you only run the four equip spells. So you have that option. If you wanted to run Amazonus Heirloom, you can always take out the Moon Mirror Shield for the Heirloom spot. And then also the one Mrs. Radiant, because the Amazonists are Earth Attribute Monsters. The one Nightmare Unicorn, along with the one Access Code Talker for the Link 4 boss monster to go into with all the other ones. And for the Xyz monsters, I run one Baguska, along with one Abyss Dweller, and one Levier the Sea Dragon to finish up the extract for some more generic Xyz monsters you can always go into. And then as for some of the go-to plays, once again, with your War Chief Special Summon or your Amazon as Princess Normal or Special Summon, you gain a search for whatever card you need if you already have the setup in your hand for cards like your Amazon as Call or your Secrets Arts being a three of each. You can search out one of the two new traps using Hot Springs for an additional search. When it's activated, take an Amazon as Monster from your deck and you add to your hand. But if you don't have cards like Onslaught, you won't really get a Special Summon thanks to that card. So you'll be able to just use your Hot Springs to set the needed Amazon is Pendulum card and then have that play for your monsters. Golden Whipmaster will be the normal target you want to go to initially, but then using other cards if your opponent destroys the Pendulum scale, using cards like Hall to recycle it back onto the field can be a big play to at least keep the destruction going against your opponent altogether. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. Like I said, I'm happy to have updated the Amazonas deck with the new support from the Crystal Revenge booster set. And I hope you all enjoyed it as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.